Welcome back to MG Marine Tech and today we're going to be covering a little bit of an install tip. This tip relates to choosing the right wire size when you're extending your power harness for a unit. Most everybody has a battery way in the back of the boat and they put a unit way in the front of the boat and you have to extend those wires. So this is going to show you the importance of choosing the right wire size for that job. Alright, so here's how we're going to run this test. We've got a standard battery here connected with some 18 or 16 gauge wire. It runs along my floor because it's freezing outside to our standard Garmin cable connected to a 126 Ultra and we're roughly 18 foot away from the battery. So this is going to show you guys the principle of voltage drop. Here's the voltage at the battery. It's not fully charged up right now but you can see basically 12 volts. Now if you run back to the unit we are at 11.6 so about four tenths of a volt that it's dropping along those wires that are again 18 gauge which is the same gauge wire as you can see uh, that the factory unit comes with so some may think oh well it's 18 gauge wire coming out of the unit I can extend it with 18 gauge wire let's show you what happens when we change the power wire that's coming from the battery to say 12 gauge. Now it's time to show you what the 12 gauge wire looks like. Again the battery is at 11.98 volts hooked up the same way. This is the wire that I used, 12 gauge wire. Again strung along the floor to represent the length that would be in a boat. Same 19, 18, 19 feet hooked up to the same exact factory harness the same way and the voltage at the unit is 12 volts so we have zero voltage drop giving you the best performance at our unit all times as here are the two gauges of wires I just wanted to put them side by side so you can see the difference uh, this is the 18 gauge wire it was used in the first test where we saw you know three tenths to four tenths of a voltage drop and here is the 12 gauge wire that was used in the second test side by side you can see substantial difference in the size of the actual wire some will say oh well it's got 18 gauge wire coming out of the unit that's all you need to extend it as you can see from our little comparison that is not true we got four tenths of a voltage drop with 18 gauge wire extended and we got almost no voltage drop with the 12 gauge wire extended i hope that little experiment that we did shows to you and really proves to you just how crucial it is to pick the proper size wire when you're extending your power harness. Now you saw with the 18 gauge wire we had three to four tenths voltage drop across that wire and with the 12 gauge wire we had zero voltage drop and that's really what you're shooting for is no voltage drop across your wire. If some of you guys are having issues where you know say your battery is topped off and it has full voltage and your unit is showing much lower voltage that's is the first place you're going to look you're going to look at the wire size and make sure it is properly sized. Now you may ask what's the proper size? I would do nothing less than 12 gauge wire. Uh, no matter how short of an extension I'm putting on it, I'm going to install 12 gauge wire. Um, and in our case today, we had you know, roughly 18 foot of wire that we extended it, which is quite a long ways. You really can see that the 12 gauge wire is going to allow you to get full system voltage all the time. Thanks for watching guys and if you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I plan on doing more videos like this in the future and showing you guys some more tech tips on installations to get the most out of your units. So again, thanks for subscribing and watching.